Saviano to re retrieve the puck, gets it across now to Connolly. Jim Vandermeer needs to be careful. There's a breakaway chance here coming down this left side as Mokshankshev steps inside, takes a move, and he's got a short handed goal for the Lanigan Panthers. 12 36 to go in the first period. Panthers 1, Giants 0. Yeah, that's a super goal for Mokshankshev. Uh, Mokshankshev, thank you very much, Simon. Kurtz sticks the brakes on, looking for a helper, but Giants had gone for a change. Sylvester helps it around to the blue line. Mason. Throws it in front, tipped in front. Oh. Colin Shields makes it 1-1. One, one. Jeff Mason, another great shot, heads up play. 3.07 to go in the first. We got a tie game. And what a great play, just as we spoke about there, getting in front of the goaltender, making life difficult for him, you see. Unfortunately, Gagnon couldn't get a hold of it. Phillips looks to get a shot on target. Couldn't get a whole lot on that one from Sauvé. The chance, break it forward, there's a chance here again. Break it in, lovely oh. goal! Oh. Belfast Giants take a two-goal! The one lead, Darcy Murphy. 156 to go in the first. 2 1 Giants. And what a sensational pass it was. I think that was Connolly way back near his own blue line, just firing the puck up. Seeing his, his line mate there, Darcy Murphy, breaking wide. You can see the, the heads up play there. He knows. Clark, Brisebois, shot coming out. Oh, what a goal from Brisebois. That levels things up. 5 on 3 goal. The booze ring around the arena That's... for Tom Darnell. And step out of the penalty. Sorry, Chris. Step out of the penalty box is Brandon Conley. I mean, that's a, that's a good shot, but that goes back to that penalty you were talking about. You, you can't make that call here as a ref, so I hope the crowd lets him hear it for it. David Clark, one time effort coming in there from Breeze Bois. And I just clipped off the post and jacked the puck into the chance and Mason can't get a hold of it. Same in the corner from Perlini and Clark. And Robert Farmer, British, all British forward line, gets it out front, shot, and another power play goal. Two quick goals for the Nottingham Panthers. A great movement there from the from the trio of Perlini, Clark, and Robert Farmer, but the goal was scored by Mark Delago. 39 seconds between goals. And here comes an opportunity to see the replay. The bench this time is Evan Mosey gets the better of Colchart, gets it in front, and he scored another power play goal. That's the fourth goal of the Nottingham Panthers. Beat Colchart around the outside. And the third power play goal of the evening for the Panthers. It seems like we got to stay out of the box here. Obviously, the Nottingham's a skilled team, so we can't keep putting them back on the power play. But they need to stay in the penalty box in this third period. We've got a chance to get back into this game. Conley gets it back to the back tour. Looks to get in front. Shot coming oh. in. Great movement. Chance for the great goal. Spiro Galakos created an empty net chance for Sebastian Silvestre. And he gets his 14th goal this season. Yeah, what a heads up play by the Galakis there. Coming in uh, down from the blue line and, and getting that pass. I thought he was going to shoot right away. Uh, the pr presence of mind just to hold it, just that half second. Nelly again feeds it ahead to John Kurtz. Kurtz back to Martinelli. He has to spin and keep a hold of it. Sends it across ice. Shot coming in. Tip the front. Oh! Great <laughs> ball. We got a 4 4 game. Blair Rally with his third goal this season. What a goal. And, and then well deserved from the Giants. You can see they're throwing everything at this goaltender, moving the puck, a great play along the blue line, finding Blair riding the slot and a super tip in. Another shot from the point this time from Spiro Galakos. Riley steps in, takes oh. a shot, and goes right over the top of the crossbar. Now we're going the other way. Here comes Muck Shankseth. Gets into the top of the circle, feeds it into Zach Phelps. Zach Phelps comes across, open net, and the Panthers get the winning goal. What a game. Brilliant game here at the SSC Arena. Great move for the goal for the final and the winner. And the Nottingham Panthers take the second point out of the SSC Arena tonight. But that three on three, Johnny, was great. Oh, it's an absolute heartbreaker for the Belfast Giants. Uh, you know, it could have gone the other way, could have gone either way. Two great chances, three great chances. Off in the star zone, it's out to the line, stayed with a big shot, scores! From the face off, it's out to the blue line for Pasha, puts it across the line and stayed with a bullet to the back of the goal. It's Dundee 1, Cardiff 0, 15 23 to go in the first period. Well, with goal number 7 of the season and point number 15, Riley Stado puts the Dundee Stars 1 0 ahead with one up behind, finds Anderson with a pass, Anderson through for County, County trying to knock it across. Anderson with some good work. Or has gone in. Well, surprise. And a delayed reaction from the crowd in the DIA, but Johan Anderson somehow finds the back of the net with that one. 
15-28 to go in the second period. It's Monday 2, Cardiff 0. Well, Johan Andersen bagging goal four of the season. It took everybody a bit of time to work out it was in the back of the net, apart from him. <laughs> Strachan fires it over. Anderson helps it on its way, looking for Ingalls. Doesn't make it all the way through. In front, Fullerton down. And that's across the line. An absolute scramble. One Travis Fullerton and he's raging in that one. The light goes on. The ref gives a goal. And it's going to stand. 5.57 to go in the second period. It's Monday 2. Cardiff 1. Well, a total melee in the Stars goal mouth here. And forward across the line is Mimar. Myers is in there first though. Captain. Fired in and in close. Shot's gone in. Gabriel Olovic somehow knocks that across the line. He's lost the stick in the process. And he'll do losing some discomfort. Yeah, he does. However, there's 17.56 left in the second period. It's Dundee Stars 3, Cardiff Devils 1. While well, he looks in discomfort, but he has put the Dundee Stars, as you said, they've 3-1 ahead early into this third period. And we'll get a look at it here. We're coming into the second weekend this weekend of uh, penalising those second face-off infringements. And that's a goal for, goal for Flames. Play straight through the middle. Simple tapping goal. The end of the game st straight under Mika Vickman. Isaacson now. Hudson looking for room. Isaacson will give him that room. Hudson. Skating around looking for these gaps. Essary in the centre. Shot comes off the side netting. Many tries to get a backhand. But, and that's Kyle Essary at the near post. To mock that in. 12.29 to go. It's a power play goal for Lightning. Kyle Essary. Lightning looking to get into those passing zones. Stop those shots coming in. Yadlowski once again tries the one-time shot. That's over to the right-hand side. Many will go over onto the boards. Puts the hit in. Pompey will also go there. Yadlowski over here with space. And that's a goal for uh, Flames. Concerted pressure. Looks like Rick Brzezinski, I think. Really, really surprised some teams. It's only because they've, they've fallen found a few injuries that they haven't got better for them. Go and that's a goal! That's to set over that far side there. Danny Kearney doing the work once again. Or was it Kearney that got the goal? Words going on over by the Guildford Flames goal. I don't know what that is all about. But oh no. Now somebody's come off the bench on the Guildford players and he's dropped his gloves. He's dropped his gloves with Vero Paul. Vero Paul's having none of it. But he's come off the bench. He's dropped his gloves. Kearney now trying to get back and do his thing. And that's called back. Bit of pushing and shoving here in centre ice. And that's to set. And Jesse Craig. I didn't quite see what caused that, but McKinney's in there as well. And Doucette's been called, as has Jesse Craig. They're both going to go and have a seat for a couple of minutes. Couldn't actually see what caused that. Last five seconds. Guildford looking to get one last shot off. And he managed to do that. And the buzzer goes at the end of the period. And once again, we've got some pushing and shoving just in front of the lightning goal. Kyle Essary there getting involved. Number eight, Carl Ackred. Had a great game tonight, Carl Ackred. He's been, really been a standout player for Guildford this season so far. And here he goes up against Mika Wittman in front of the Guildford Flames fans. Throws to fake, and he scores. So, Francis Ferro Paul looking to bring lightning level, which he does. And goes top shelf, what a goal. Vero Paul, absolutely no messing about. Tommy Melly, of course, just joined the team recently. And off Tommy Melly goes, coming with pace all the way down the middle. Looking like he's going there, and he drops it! And he goes top shelf. So Tommy Melly, up he comes, comes up with pace. 
Digs a couple of times, goes to fake the shot and goes top shelf. Great win for Milton Keynes lining once again. Great game up for a Wednesday night. Pace here on the break for the Capitals. The three men up on the attack. Just to put a shot in. Good stick there by the uh, Storm defenseman. Big hit behind the net. Possible break. Hammond, he's got support if he needs it. Hammond fires it across. And it's good in the back of the net by Hansen. Edinburgh Capitals circling around the net. Right out in front. Dangerously poking around. Good. Padded away there by Mike Clemente. Drovdon. Feeds it to Gazzola. Go, go. It's a goal for the Caps. The Caps get the leveller. And it is that man coming back from injury. Sergei Banishkov. Looking for Anderson. Good stick there by the Caps netminder. It's out in front. And Becker, he fights the back of the net. Loose puck comes out in front. Fires. Fires take it in deep. Drops it off too long. Long to Becker. Finding Trench. Trench fires it. It's in the back of the net. Possible tip there, I think, from Dane Byers as Trench fires it in. Power play goal for the Manchester Storm. Here's Hammond. Feeds it across to Hansen. Picked up by Blues. Hansen looking for that dangerous pass across the ice in their own zone. Pitt picks it up. Hansen feeds it to Pitt. Pitt possibly looking. Puts it top shelf! Goes top cheese! What a finish by Scott Pitt. I think it took him a couple of weeks to find his feet, but he looks like he's uh, coming good now. He said that he's almost a point per game at the moment. Here is the man. Oh, beautiful play there. As it looks like Hansen will get the uh, credit for that goal. Seeing him go down. How does the ice change here as the game goes on? Does he get a little soft? One minute out in front. Dane Byers finds the goal. Storm get their sixth for the night with a feed from Becker. Avoid each other though. Four minutes to go. Captain Barmer fires it in. Pull the move on Rose Hill. Slide around the boards. Caps trying to get some offensive pressure, unable to. Break here for Scott Pitt. Scott Pitt's through. Scott Pitt. He finds his 100th goal in the Elite League as he goes backhand just around the back of McLaughlin. Comes off the rest to back side. It looked there. But Dundee managed to squeeze it in. Malcolm Gill with the effort from this wide position. And it sneaked in. It may have come off a stick or two on the way. But Malcolm Gill has the opening goal for Dundee. Six minutes 23 into this first period. Looking to exploit space as we move forward. It's Bjorklund. He's off for static. Inside to Gutwald, plays it in, good work, in back, Chapa! Wonderful finish, great work from Brayhead Park to get the equalising power play goal. Tyler Shattuck with the goal, wonderful work. Set up, in back with the final goal, Gutwald played it in to make in back. Played it up beautifully, Shattuck one-timer, Bulletin beaten, it's 1-1. One, one. And looking to build gradually inside the last six minutes of this first period. Plan one, Dundee one. Just a chance in back, Rob Mima breaks forward for Dundee, two on one. Good Sesko the man there. And that's a good finish, Riley Stadel. Good break away from the Dundee Stars. Mark Olivier Mima combining with Riley Stadel who puts the finish away. And the Stars, they go ahead once again. And Sesko, Charles Lansky is back in defensive position. Dundee have it. 
Running up and under. Home side, what can you do with this? Wonderful work, that's a good finish. That's my comeback. On the inside left position. Cameron Burt. Keys up. Carla Schofield. And that's another one from the club. Two goals. In the space of around 45 seconds. And you have to say, great one from Cameron Burt. For Tyler Schofield to finish. And that will have fatigued those players. Four on three in front, they score! Andrew Hotham sent it in. It may have got a touch out front, but it's one nothing Devils on the power play. This time Pope goes no luck, but it works for Hotham. Shoots, they score! Andrew Hotham looks to have scored his second of the night. The Devils go 2 0 up. Bryce Reddick and away they go. Lane Ulmer sends it over to Hoffman who's out front, they score! What a tic-tac-toe play from the Cardiff Devils and Josh Batch makes it 3-0. Again, Fenucci is the stick ready and gets a chance and scores! Carlo Fenucci on the power play makes it 3-1 now. Crowder gets a go in the goal and it was just missed out front. Room for 40. Backdoor chance. He scores! Joey Martin had one, two, maybe three goes in the end, but it scores on the power play. The Devils go 4-1 up. I really enjoy watching him. He's uh, shirt off his back tonight, and I might be tempted to actually buy one. This I'm so impressed by what he brings to the Devils, just that calmness. Might be a chance here, though. Riddick shoots and scores! <laughs> off the turnover play from Josh Batch, good work from Lane Ulmer, then Riddick puts it away to make it 5 1 Cardiff Devils. Go down low. They work the puck on that far side. They like the look of it. Jorgensen again, but the pass was. Just a little bit behind there, and the Flyers have got to try and create room. 38 seconds left, 5 on 3. Burzin send that one down low. Out front, and it's still there. They score! A power play goal, 5 on 3 from Danik Gautier, puts it back at 5 2. Dick handles well in his own zone, and here he goes at speed. 113 left on this delay, on this long penalty for the five Flyers. Sent in, it was blocked out for another try, still the puck loose, they score! Another power play goal for the five Flyers, they still have time on this power play, it's a 5-3 game now. Blanc again, sends it in, it deflects out front, they score! Another power play goal for the five Flyers, this time off the skate of Andrew Hotham, it's a 5-4 hockey game. 15 seconds here they go new unit out there it's over on the far side now back to Bryce Reddick one timer deflected out for another chance they score early on in the third Justin Farina makes it 6-4 Devils Handled by Crowder, and it might open up here though. Short handed for the five flies. It's blood off as well. The leading scorer, blood off in a goal, shoots and scores. Short handed, Evan blood off brings the flyers back into it. It's 6 4. It is now for Burzit. It's in tight. There was a chance, but it got away from them. Now, Russ Moyer out front to scout here. He's 
virtually immovable there, especially five on three. Finding and firing there. Still on front, they score! The joy is palpable on the ice for the Flyers players. They've tied it up. Six all on the power play. Flyers, it was very slow pace, and the Devils were able to continue to stack four players. Giveaway from Fournier, chance out from what a move, they score! What a turnaround we've seen here. The Flyers now with a 7 6 lead. Danik Gauthier is the scorer. Went wide of the goal of Mar, 20 seconds left. Still in the zone, no it's not, and it's chipped away. This is gonna be it. In on goal is Gauthier, shoots and scores! The Flyers get their eighth of the night, and that will do it into the empty net. They'll win here at Ice Arena Wales. Dunbar looks at his option, sends it down behind the goal line. It's moved around back for Yudlovsky. He's got to cut a seam to the net. Yudlovsky flashes one wide to Priest. Another rebound. It's bundled home. Oh! And Britain Priest got a little unlucky there. Bundled in from a bad angle. The Yale for Flames. They've got the first goal of the night. Here's Valorant down the right hand side, short handed. Drifts to the slot. Valorant! Makes his own charge into the offensive zone, short-handed, short side on Will, ties the game. Well, the Blaze had some good looks on the power play, they hit the crossbar from Lake, short-handed though, no problem finding the back of the net. Oh, up to the point, Yudlowski gets rushed by Petrus, and Petrus is going to get a breakaway, short-handed, Jordan Petrus fakes, and scores! Jordan Petrus, the captain leading the way. It won't count as short-handed as the Blazers return to full strength, but he rushed Yudlovsky at the point, and a lovely shootout move from Jordan Peters. Little fake, Will goes to the poke, and he gets some space between the big leg and the pipe. As Valoran enters the zone, Lake gets it across to Gustav Arnlov. Patterson, back to Arnlov. Patterson, across to Valoran, opens up some space! And a little bit of space is all he needs! His second goal of the evening, Stu. First was shorthanded, the second's on the power play. And the Blaze top goal scorer has another notch in his belt. Lovely finish. Akron gets away from Bebris, although a really poor pass. Petrus will pick it up, and Petrus will get his second of the night. Akkered will be the blushing bride on that play. And Jordan Petrus finishes. Far side on Will. Yeah, really poor pass there by Akrad, who's intercepted by Venus, who just lays it off for Petrus, creates a good angle for himself. Top corner, absolute laser. Does. Back to Venus. Ferrar in behind the goal line. We'll have to shield the puck away from Davies. He does. And oh, Jordan Petrus finds himself in a world of space. Guns one. No! It's a hat trick! From the skipper. We'll see if Will's eyes were taken away. It was an awkward shot to deal with down low. 4-1 Coventry. Let's just take a look again. Yeah, a little screen created in front. Tries to send one out in front. It takes an awkward bounce back into the corner. Here's Phillips. Sends it across one. Timer! Off the bar, down and in. I think he took a tip in the slot. It was Liam Stewart with the shot. Let's just take a look again, Stu, if this took an extra little tip off a flame stick in front or if this was just all Liam. She likes to step up every time. He's going to rip one and that goes through. Gleason Fournier through Patrick Galbraith's body. I thought he had that one covered. Great kill there from the Panthers as Mark Delego steps back onto the ice and strips Asselin straight away. Delego out the box, walks the middle, drags in front to Mosey, just through everybody's feet and wide. Great play by Delego there out of the box, straight into the play. Now Delego down low in front and it's in! Mark Delego from behind the net shoots and scores!
What a shift from Mark Gallego out the box and on the board 10 seconds later. Nice play there. The Sove tries to shoot that one in. Nice block again by the Devils forward. Mokshansev using his strength down low. He twists and turns. Richardson took a bit of a fall there. He looks like he's hurt. Now backdoor shot. What a goal from Jan Sove. Top corner from the goal line. Bounce, no chance. Great play behind the net. They're out in front. Sove pitched down. And top shelf from an impossible angle to give the Panthers a 2-1. Now Pope through the middle, bad bounce, but Matt Pope through the middle. Pope, one-on-one. -on -one. Nice goal from Matt Pope. What a goal by him, one-on-one -on -one against Galbraith. Funny bounce off the boards there, he splits the D. Looked like he was in slow motion, slowed it down. And a nice finish just under the glove of Galbraith. Pope back to Strachan. Strachan throws it in, saved by Galbraith. Again, the Panthers need to get this and get it down the ice. Nice play, Phillips to Brown. Brown does get that out of the zone. Nice play by him. And a good job by the Panthers getting guys off the ice. But now Hotham springs through the middle. Hotham backhand, low glove again. Nice goal from Andrew Hotham on the line change by the Panthers. Hotham jumps right through the middle, shoots the gap there and again, takes it to his backhand and we'll check in, looking to uh, cause some turnovers. Nice head fake there from Gagnon as he brings the puck down the ice. Gagnon cutting to the line, shoots and scores! Matthew Gagnon, what a goal! What a goal from Matthew Gagnon! Well, started with a great head fake in our own zone. He had two Cardiff Devils players trapped, and then that gave him lots of room to skate up the ice. It's wide, I'm not sure if Bounds got a piece of that one. Looks like he may have done. Nice shot by Billingsley just to get that through. Now Mosey walks. Cuts to the middle, shot, saved by Bounds, rebounds there, and it's in for Pellini. Brett Pellini with the rebound. 5.43 remaining, Panthers lead, 4-3. to three. A nice P.O.P. from Moes, falls straight to Pellini. And Pe now Schaller, Betridge and Lakovic in support, over to Lakovic, shoots and scores! Rob Lakovic! That was great vision there by Josh Schaller. What a goal from Rob Lakovic. By glove on bounds. Fournier, nice stick by Lindhagen. Lindhagen to the red line. Lindhagen shoots and scores. And everybody's doing it tonight. Gagnon, Lindhagen, Lacko. Good for the Panthers. Last 10 seconds here. Bad angled shot, and that one's in. A bad angled shot from Alma. Walked down the goal line through Nick Galbraith. He had that post sealed. I think it was off his pad and in. Yeah, as much as you try and seal it down in that. Bounds is going to go to the bench. And we have an extra attacker and an empty net situation. Dan Spang. He's going to go over to Pellini. He has an empty net. Pellini shoots and hits the post. He already has one anyway. Yeah, but it's in from Rob Farmer. Pellini will get the assist. Farms gets his goal. Shields for the Belfast Giants. Here comes Steve Saviano looking to step out from the blue uh, wall. Backhand ever coming in. Good touch there, and it's into the net. Belfast Giants get a little bit of luck. It looks like Paul Swindler's tried to bat it out of midair. Threw it in by Saviano there. It's a, it's a poor effort from, it's unfortunate, I suppose, from Command. He's flicked it up over the stage. Step, sorry, and here comes Dar Darcy Murphy. Darcy Murphy, a little bit of space, steps inside through the five hole. And Darcy Murphy gets his 10th goal of the season. Skates round through center ice, breaks the blue line on fourth. Giants night, again two goals up there, 2.55 and a good start here at the SSC Arena. And here comes the Belfast Giants again, Saviano gets it inside, shot coming in. It's the third goal! Colin Shields! Blown away just with the pace the Giants are coming through the neutral zone. On that one, that's easily called again, low chance here now for the Storm. Scott Pitt gets it in front oh. and it's through the legs of Jackson Whistle. And there's a goal fest, David. He only three and a half minutes gone. There's four goals already. Go the puck just into this into the slot. Not dealt with. Just comes off the stick. There's an opportunity here. Comes with puck breaks for Steve Saviano. He's got an open door. 
<laughs> I'm standing here clapping, Simon, because the pass from Sebastian Sylvester to have the vision to go back inside when he didn't have anything on himself. It's in Robert Fitzpatrick because he said he had a bad leg. He's hopping around here like a wheeler. <laughs> There's no replay of this. It's, just, it's actually comical defending, but it's into the corner. He's round Cole Jarrett, but gets it out front again. Shot come, a fake shot, sorry, second shot coming in, and what an effort. What a tip top point. Top corner, 4 2, 6 05 to go in this first period. Cleanly, but he gets the jump on Balmer, sticks the brakes on, spins away from him, it right across the back door. The Belfast Giants have their fifth goal of the evening, but all the work done by Brendan Conley. Not Manchester Storm players away to the dinner. Centers the puck and it comes back across from Gulakos, tucked in at the back stick. For lovely puck up blue lane, lovely shot coming in. The Belfast Giants, their sixth goal of the season and a hat-trick goal for Steve Saviano. 12-0-1 to go. David Rutherford pushed one last season, but he just gets Freezes Clemente down in the ice. He wants a key in. Darcy Murphy all over this ice here this evening. Comes out from behind the net. Love the effort. And just Saviano again. Steve Saviano. When was the last time somebody scored four goals in one night? Give it. Goal of the night. Didn't give up. Got the first effort off. And Clemente just couldn't get a cover on that. It's a seventh goal. For the whole way through. And Belfast Giants have oh. that man again, Steve Saviano, showing his speed. He's got Sylvester going to the back door. Job. Lovely effort. That is what incredible. From Steve Saviano, right on the tape of Sebastian Silvestre. You can see Sebastian Silvestre working hard, coming down the slot. The one-timer past Clemente. Again, trying to gain momentum. John Kurtz could be right through the middle here. Lovely play by Kurtz. And what a finish! Oh, John Kurtz! Everboys trying to hip check him in the middle there, made a bit of a fool of himself, John Kurtz. Kurtz is like Moses going through the middle here, he parts the Red Sea. Terrible defence from the Manchester Storm, you'll see here the player goes for the hip check, but... Yeah. Manchester Storm have killed off a five minute major call and Moffat could be away to the races, picks it up really well, lovely move by Moffat, steps inside. And he's through the legs and he steps out of the penalty box. Andrew Dixon concedes his first goal the evening and then the scoreline now, 9-3. It's funny, Simon, how many times a, a goal comes when a team's just coming back on the ice after killing a penalty there. Moffat takes it. I mean, look to go and get a change to get some more fresh legs on the ice. To set and Vero Paul forwards on now, along with Kearney. And it comes all the way over to Brooks. Brooks now looks to feed that in. That's goal. That's a well worked out goal from Clan. That was Brooks over on this left-hand side, just put it straight in front of the uh, of the defenders. And on the board inside three minutes, when Carlo Fanucci lofts a tricky little pass in front of the net to Shane Stockton, who one times it beyond the reach of Chris Carazzi. The Flames tie it up before the period midway point. Cruz Reddick starts the attack by skying a neutral zone advancement, the return of which John Dunbar blocks for his own opportunity before Reddick follows up and sidesteps Andy Isles with the rebound. A couple of minutes later on a power play, Dunbar sets up a Reddick one-timer that doesn't go, but the rebound finds Ian Waters in front who bangs it in for a 2-1 lead. Three quality passes help Fife get out of their end quickly and get on the attack. The last of which sends Liam Helis in alone on Karazi, but the Canadian netminder makes the stop. A middle period opening rush with Reddick and Dunbar sets up Jez Lundin, who gets a good shot away from the top of the left circle, but Isles keeps that one off the board. Shortly thereafter, Dunbar grabs a turnover in his own end, then streaks down the right side before airing out a pass to a trailing Lundin, who this time sticks a high one past Isles and extends their lead to a pair. An initial broken play near the goal eventually leads to an opportunity when Dunbar retrieves a loose puck and gets it to Reddick, whose one-timer is tracked well and steered into the corner. At 32-30, Reddick connects with Dunbar mid-ice, and once over the blue line, his quick stick holds the puck just long enough to open a lane for Thomas McCullough, who snaps home his side's fourth of the contest. 
Less than 90 seconds later, Lundin finds Ben Campbell in front for a tip-in that is blocked, but he picks up his own loose change in the backhand and shovels in the 5-1 marker. Keeping the pressure on late in the period, Reddick throws the puck deep in the corner, then circles back to the slot area, by which time a Waters pass had found its way back to an uncontested Reddick, who roofs a hard wrister from in tight for the sixth and final goal of the night. Trying to get back in the game in the third, a Flyers four-on-three power play delivered great pressure, but Karazi, as he had all evening, was there once again to deny the visiting side. The Flames had a few more chances of their own, and Aaron Puck finds his way back to Dunbar, who makes a nice move to put himself alone at the fifth goal, but a nice save ensured he couldn't quite finish the play. On the final effort ahead of the buzzer, Ben Davies finds Campbell alone in front, and his shot rings off the bar, and the evening closed on the 6-1. Tess Lukovic just sends this one in. Traverden, shot, goal! Marek Traverden through the five hole. And the Capitals go 1-0 ahead. Yeah, it's only about their second or third shot on the goal. And the lead after just over four minutes, four and a half minutes. A goal to the Caps at last. In front of a, quite a noisy crowd here. And that's great, that's what we need. Paneshkov, round to Vorobiev. Back to the point to Teslukovic. Teslukovic back to Vorobiev. Vorobiev down deep to Bereshkov. Bereshkov to Vorobiev. Shoots goal! Pavel Vorobiev on the power plate. Doubles in with a capitals lead. Yep, they took great advantage of that power play. 138 left in it. And it's now 2-0 to the Cats. And the fans, look at them. This is this has not been here like that for a while. Particularly at home. Comes across now to Anderson. Anderson feeds Kozoa. And that one, uh, well, what? Kozoa gets it back to Traverden. Shoots! Marek Traverden doubles his tally for tonight. And puts the Edinburgh Capitals ahead by three goals to nil. Two things. The crowd are on the feet. And the players as well are showing a bit of fight. This this, this is the, really the start of the Caps revival, I hope. Petrus. Cycles round, taken away, and Bereshkov will be one on one with the netminder. Sergey Bereshkov goes in, goal! Sergey Bereshkov on the breakaway. Pace in the Capitals, four goals to the ahead. Yep, wonderful goal, absolutely superb goal. Lovely breakaway, 4 0, 11.48 left, and hear this crowd. Jane. Gets this one back, takes the shot. Pavel Chagall eventually loses one as the Blaze get back on the board. And Pavel Chagall, I want that one back. Well, I do feel sorry for him as well. I think we got a bit waylaid ourselves as well. It's a real shame for the goalkeeper. He'll uh, possibly drop something here. Robinson out to Vero and shoots and scores. After trying to wind someone up just a few minutes ago, Ferelin gets the goal to bring it back to 4-2. Yeah, Caps just lost their way away a bit, a bit there, but give Coventry their, their, their credit as well. They worked hard at a very good team goal, I have to say. Very good team goal. But Caps are... Uh, I think the referee is a bit uh, weak early on there when the, the, there was bodies being getting shoved around. With 10 seconds to go, clear the zone. It comes up to Vorobiev. Vorobiev through our nets, empty net. Pavel Vorobiev puts it into the nets. With 3.1 seconds to go, he doubles his tally for tonight. And secures the two points for the Edinburgh Capitals.